that's a big subject now. I get stressed out, I go shopping. I like to buy things for myself. The only trouble is, I don't have much money, so I have a fabulous collection of socks. I am the Argyle Queen. They say men and women react to stress differently. What do you think? Eh, I'm not so sure. My boyfriend gets stressed out, he goes to the gym. I get stressed out, I go to the gym, and yell at my boyfriend. He buries himself in the sports page, and I bury myself in Sara Lee. Mm. You mean I have to defrost this? Well, that's stressful. <laughs> calorie consolation prize. Universal symbol of a woman who's been scorned, stood up cold. No, I meant what flavor? Oh. <laughs> chocolate, chocolate, Jim! <laughs> we were supposed to have brunch. The words are still ringing in my ear. So, I'll talk to you on Sunday and then we'll have a bite of brunch. <laughs> I got up early. I waxed, I tweezed, I even skipped my morning jog just so I could wait by the phone. Don't you have a machine? Some calls you just have to be there for, Will. Wait, I thought you said he didn't call. He didn't. That's why I spent the entire afternoon alone at the all-you-can-eat Tex-Mex buffet. I mean, a girl needs a little something for her heartache, Will. Uh, mm -hmm. My mom should be out in a minute. Maybe you should tell her this stuff. No, I can't talk to your mother. I mean, I can't even bring myself to write down my laps in my lifestyle log. I mean, what will I think of myself in the morning? Mom! Not even enjoying this. I can't even taste this. I hate this. I think I have some chores to do. Will, don't leave me! <laughs> I'll have a schooner a draft, please. We don't serve our beer in boats here. Do you want a glass or a pitcher? What the heck? Let me have the pitcher. That bad, huh? Let me ask you something. Mm -hmm. If we were dating and I had called you for the first three dates, which, by the way, went very, very well... Oh, I thought so. Then why didn't you call me? Honey, if I knew the answer to that, I'd be a rich woman. I can still hear the words ringing in my head. So I'll talk to you on Sunday, and we'll have a bite of brunch. Yeah. She was supposed to call me. Well, look, why don't I go get you one beer, you give her a call, clear this up, and maybe she'll join you for dinner. Call her? I will not. A man's got his pride. Oh. This is all Sue's fault for introducing us. I'm sorry, Will. I didn't mean to dump all of this on you. I'm sorry, did you say something? Uh, <laughs> I have a distinct impression I've missed something. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> 
okay? <laughs> no. Oh. I'm a mess. <laughs> Mick stood me up. And right now I'm abandoning every thought of health and happiness I've ever had. <laughs> I'm sure there's an explanation. I have no willpower. Oh. No. no, I mean, why you didn't show up? Why, why don't you call him? No, I'm not going to call him. Look what he's done to me. Here. I'll check my messages. Okay. In private. <laughs> Women. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. This is like Grand Central Station. <laughs> Nick! Hi, Sue. Can I come in? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, come in. Sit down. <laughs> chocolate, chocolate chip. Okay. It used to be our favorite. She's here, isn't she? Who? You know who, Roberta. Uh, uh, Mick, Mick! Uh, I'm sure that's just a little misunderstanding, whatever happened. And I'm sure when you two see each other, whatever that might be. Mick! Roberta! Uh, Roberta? Excuse me, Mick. Maybe next time I better just phone her. We'd appreciate that. Poor Roberta. She usually follows her weight management plan better than anyone I know. But as you can see, no one's perfect. And when it comes to lapses, highly charged emotional situations are about as high risk as they come. Here's the good news. A lapse is not the end of the world. In fact, it's just another part of your plan. Probably not the part you're most proud of, but nonetheless, just one of many components of a healthier lifestyle. Let's think of a lifestyle as a tapestry. It's colored by many steps, many decisions, many choices. Most of them are positive. On any given day or week, you've been walking, four-stepping, riding in your log, menu planning, creating a vision. That's quite a sound foundation. As you can see, a lapse here and there can't destroy the fabric. It can't undo all the healthy choices you've already made. You have a lapse, you just pluck it out, look at it, jot it down in your lifestyle log, four step through it and go on. It is not the end of your plan. You have not undone all your hard work. Hey, if I get a few loose threads, I'm not gonna throw out this whole sweater. It's still a great sweater. And yours is still a great plan. Okay, so now what about when it's more than a few threads? Let's take Roberta for example. It wasn't a matter of her losing willpower. There's really no such thing. What she was doing was making a whole string of unhealthy choices. She skipped her run. She binged on a lot of different foods. She didn't write in her log. But even that, held up to weeks and months of positive choices, is easily overcome. She just needs to catch herself and do the four-step so she'll be better prepared the next time she and Mick get their signals crossed. After that, she needs to acknowledge how strong her healthy lifestyle tapestry really is. Then, go on with her day. It's only when we stop trying all together, when all of our new habits are starting to unravel, not just occasionally, but time and time again, that it would be considered a relapse. So, here's what you need to watch for. If you find that you're having lapses more than three days a week for two weeks or more, or have gained more than five pounds, or are generally feeling out of control, you need to heed the warning and take action. First off, remind yourself that it would take a complete abandonment of all your positive lifestyle changes to put you back where you started. So don't throw in the, the sweater. <laughs> Instead, 
refer back to your first module to help refresh your vision. Recommit to your lifestyle log and do the four step on your lapses to regain the control you feel you're losing. And if you've missed a meeting with your Jenny Craig consultant or can't wait to have your next one, make an appointment. She or he will help you analyze the situation, accept the lapses, and remind you of the vision you have for a happy, healthier lifestyle. Finally, never underestimate the importance of positive self-talk. Your mind is the most effective weight management tool you have. You can use it to create the vision you want, and most importantly, to interpret high-risk situations in a way that won't leave you lapsing. So, when you feel stress building or emotions are running high, you need to take a minute to have a little chat with yourself. Hey, sometimes you're the best company there is. Sometimes, like when your date doesn't show, you're the only company there is. Hey, you all set then? What? I see. Uh-huh. Mate, you're making me look real bad here. <laughs> All right, yeah. Some other time then. Yep, I'll tell her. All right. Well? Well, he's got a bug or something. Oh. Sue, I'm really sorry. He can't make it. But he really, really wants to meet you. Yeah, mm -hmm. he really wants to meet you. <laughs> Great. You okay? Fine. I'm fine. You sure? Really? I'm fine. <laughs> Dip anyone? <laughs> Sue, why, why don't we um, skip all of this stuff and, and, and just head on out to dinner? Oh, no, I don't want to be a third wheel. <laughs> don't be silly. Mm. We're not going without you. Uh-uh. Well, please proceed. I'm not ready to go. Mm. Oh, come. Sit. Relax. Join me. Foreign hors d'oeuvre. Sue, listen. No! Don't say it. It's between me and myself. Why am I so upset? Oh, it's a blind date. Could turn out to be a real jerk, real loser. Could have been stuck with him all night. And if he's like most men, fall madly in love with you, he'd have to break his heart, change your phone number again. This dip is disgusting. <laughs> I don't want that. I want an outlet. I want something in my hands. <laughs> I want a blow up of his face. <laughs> Where do you want to go? Anywhere you want. Well, uh, I was planning on eating a little light pasta, and I don't see any reason to change those plans now. Good for you. Right. Well, how about the Napoli? Great. Great. Okay. <laughs> I'll be right there. See? A little positive self-talk and a good, healthy outlet, and I feel much better. And you will, too. Learning how to deal with emotional eating is just one of many ways you can improve your lifestyle. And when you review your lifestyle log, realize the success you've had in so many other areas, then build on the pattern of success. You'll see that high-risk situations are just a small part of the big tapestry. When you lapse, and you will, jot it down your lifestyle log, do the four-step, and move on. I think I'll take these with me. just in case he shows up later. <laughs> Coming! <laughs> I've never been on a blind date. Oh, but I wouldn't rule one out right now. Okay, you guys look a little frightened. A bit too stressful, don't you think? A little too high stress. I have a fear that I will open the door and there will be a guy standing there in a lovely plaid blazer and dicky. <laughs> like he went to the store and said, oh, I'll take the couch and the coat to match. <laughs> I have been on one blind date, just one. It didn't turn out too well. I'm sure this guy had cats because at the end of the meal, he coughed up a fur ball. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I know it wasn't pretty, but believe me, we had the check quickly. <laughs> I believe that there is an age that I should stop getting zits. I still get them. This is wrong. Am I going to get any respect from my grandchildren if I have a big zit on my chin? I'd be more likely to get a date to the prom. Of course, that strapless gown will look lovely in that support bra. <laughs> you get a zit and you think everybody can see it, but you're probably the only one who knows. I had a date with this guy, and I'm sure he's looking at it. I'm going, oh, he's looking at it. And I was looking at it, driving me crazy. I felt by the end of the date that I should have been wearing a neck brace just to hold my head up. <laughs> yeah, I answer the door, he walks in and he goes, Oh, you look wonderful. And I go, Oh, really, I do? Well, come on in and zit down. I mean, sit down. <laughs> Tell me the truth. Do you notice anything? Like what? How about now? Anything jump out at you? Not really. Oh, great. Thanks. Mom, if you're worried about that big zip. Oh, see, you did notice it. Oh, oh well. I'll just make sure to stay out of that one to two foot range. What's the big deal? I thought it was just Annie or Bertie coming over. Speak of the devils. Oh, Sam! Oh, hey, huh. uh, are you staying in tonight? Well, uh, Saturday night, what else would I be doing? Yeah. You want to hang out over here? Oh, that would be great, yeah. Roberta's coming over. <laughs> oh, let me check. Oh, oh no. like a beacon no. in the night. What? <laughs> Your little head just lights up at the mere mention of her name. Roberta. 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 Oh. Hi, Hi. Hey. Hi. Oh, it's nice to see you ladies. I thought this was going to be just girls. Now I have to worry about Sam looking at me all night with that... Poor Annie, what a cow look on his face. I wish I'd known Roberta was coming over. I would have worn vertical stripes. I must really look terrible. Sam can't even look me in the eye. What made me think I could wear these pants? My thighs are the size of Montana. So, uh, Saturday night. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. All my favorite people. Uh -huh. uh, why, don't, why don't we uh, play a game? Oh, great. Oh, great. Yeah, would be terrific. Play a game. Uh, what would you like to play? Um, R, A, S, H, Rash. <laughs> Sorry, that's all I could think of. Shows you where my mind is. She was looking right at me when she said that. This pimple must be growing. It must be even bigger than I thought. It's no wonder Jack wanted to work late again. I mean, not only am I fat and flabby, I don't even have a brain anymore. Sam, it's your turn. Oh, thanks. Look at Annie, all glowing and maternal. Gosh, she has everything. A great marriage, two beautiful kids. I'll never be that happy. I'll never find anyone, not the way I look. Sam. Hmm? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, jumpy. <laughs> Let's see, that's uh, 15, 18, 23 points. Dumpy. That's cute, Sam. 
Oh, sure. I waddle over the kitchen to get a glass of water, and Sam suddenly comes up with the word dumpy. Cute. Oh, right. Cute. Like a little elf or something. A dumpy, round, balding elf. Look at Roberta, milling over her letters, having fun with the game. Why do I let myself get all freaked out about my face? Why can't I just relax and enjoy myself like everyone else? All right. I'm going to add on. This is going to be a big one. Oh. Oh. Saddlebags? You got a problem with that? Oh, okay, okay. No, wow. That's a big word. That's terrific. Yeah. Let's see. That's, uh, that's uh, 10, 15, 32, plus a triple letter. Oh. That's 72 points. 72. Wow. 72 points. I can barely make a full sentence anymore. It's no wonder Jack is working late. Probably with some slim, blonde, hyper-verbal career woman like Roberta. Annie, would you like a letter? Oh, yes, yeah, sure. Oh! Oh! oh. It's okay, it's not, it's not oh, that bad. Big, let me get you some other pants. I couldn't get my big toe into Sue's pants. You know, uh, I'm kind of tired. Oh, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's only 7.30. I, I think I'm going to head home. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, Roberta. Bye. 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 Oh, well. You know, I'm, I've had a really long week. I'm going to go. Oh, yeah, Sam. Thanks. Bye, Sam. Okay. Yeah. Wait, you don't have to go. Jack's working. Your mom's got the kids. You want to stay? All I want to do is go home and cry. <laughs> Gee, I'd love to, but, um, I left the iron on. Well, I gotta go, you know, burn down the house. Bye. See you, Sue. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Oh. See how quickly they wanted to get away from me? Probably thought this growth was contagious. <laughs> That little evening was very illuminating, don't you think? One, because we saw just how easy it is to start beating ourselves up and then bit by bit ruin an entire evening. And two, because we saw how little attention anyone else pays to these glaring flaws we're all so convinced we have. One of the big problems so many of us have is an inability to actually see the improvements in our bodies. You're losing the weight, you're toning your muscles, but your self-image is still hooked on that old shape. So try this. Take out an old pair of pants, measure the waist with a piece of string, and then measure your waist today with another piece of string, and then lay the strings next to each other. Hey, the proof is in the strings. Or take your worst fat picture. You can keep it in a drawer if you like. Then periodically take a new photo of yourself in a similar outfit or pose. Pictures don't lie. You really are living in a leaner, healthier frame. So now, what you need to lose is the old negative mental baggage. When we go into a situation convinced that we are unattractive, what happens? Our radar gets distorted. We start to interpret every comment, every gesture that anyone makes as some sort of reflection on our appearance. We become convinced that things didn't go our way because so-and-so found us unattractive, which in turn furthers a negative self-image. It's a vicious cycle. But like most aspects of our behavior, we can turn it around with positive self-talk. It doesn't matter if you haven't achieved your desired weight yet. What matters is that you're taking steps toward a healthier lifestyle. That alone makes you a doer, and doers are always attractive. Energy, purpose, direction, these are things that make us interesting, appealing people. You also need to remind yourself that your weight is just one aspect of your body. Maybe you have great hair or beautiful hands. Maybe you've always gotten compliments on your skin, your smile, or, or the twinkle in your eye. Whatever it is, play to your strengths, and your positive self-image will continue to grow. When you do find yourself falling into negative self-talk, which we all do, where do you turn for help? To your old friend, the four-step. Yep, it's just as effective for internal behavior as it is for eating behavior. Use it to analyze the negative self-talk lapse and to better prepare you 
for the next time you're in a similar high-risk situation. When you four-step to plan and rehearse, you'll feel more in control and be ready to handle whatever comes next. Who knows? It may be something wonderful. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, okay, great. Yeah. Well, where are you now? Oh, I see. Oh, Jack, that's great. No, 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 I don't mind at all. Great. I, I think that's her. All right, see you in a bit. Hi. <laughs> what? He had to work late again. And on our date night, which isn't even our date night anymore because he's had to miss more of them than we've had. Oh, Annie, I'm sure it'll be okay. No, it won't. Look at me. I'm still 20 pounds overweight. No matter what I do or what I wear, I still look, look like, like, well, someone you cancel a date night with so you can stay at the office. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh boy, oh boy. Oh, that was a real kick in the pants. <laughs> well, <laughs> at least you caught yourself. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. M mind if I borrow your refrigerator? <laughs> Be my guest. I think I need it. Oh, gosh. Oh. Step one. Forgive yourself. Oh, Annie. Everybody lapses into negative self-talk, and at least you caught yourself pretty quickly. Um, step two, analyze the situation. Uh-huh. Where was I? Well, actually, um, it started at my house. Um, Mom had just picked up the kids, and I was really looking forward to our date night. When Jack called and said he wouldn't be coming home, and... Why didn't I just go over to Sue's and have a girl's night? And all I could think of was that he doesn't find me attractive anymore. If and I could just lose the weight and get my head out of the diaper pail, maybe he wouldn't work so late and want to come home with me. Step three. What can I change about the external triggers? Well, Jack's job can be really demanding at times, and this is just one of those times. Can't change that. But I can tell myself that Jack is working hard for us, for our family, and that in itself proves how much he cares. Oh, and I can also tell myself that I am tired and stressed, and so everything looks a little more bleak. And that deep down inside, Jack would much rather be with me and the kids, and that he's just as sad as I am to miss our date nights. So. <laughs> Step four, oh, rehearse. Uh, Sue, why don't you be Jack and tell me that you're not going to come home from the office? Oh, okay. Uh, Annie? Uh-huh. I have to work late again. I can't make it home. What? <laughs> oh, ooh. <laughs> Better try that again. <laughs> Annie, come on. He has to work late. He has to work hard because he, he has to. It has nothing to do with your weight. You know he loves you and would be here if he could. No, oh, honey. Gosh, I miss you. Can't wait till this big project's over so that you can spend more time alone with me. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Me too, my little minx. <laughs> How was that? Ooh, that was very good. <laughs> Did you think I was Jack? You, I thought you were Jack. I really, I truly thought, thought you were Jack. You I, thought... I'm Jack. <laughs> That's exactly... Did you practice that? <laughs> yeah. Oh. You know, I do, I feel better. Good. Oh. Do you ever notice that ever since Nate was born, I got these cute little tendrils all around my face? Yeah. I just love them. Oh, I did notice. They're very cute. Oh. So. Where are we going? What? Uh, to dinner. Where are we going? Uh, well, um, I thought, uh, how about we just stay in? 
Stay in? Yeah. Oh, you've got to be kidding. My whole life is staying in. Yeah. I want to go out. I want to I do the town. I, 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 I want to go to dinner and a movie. How late's the mall open? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you better brush your hair. You better look good if you're going to go out with me. Oh, I don't know. I, I, uh, <coughs> I don't, I don't uh, feel, think I feel very well all oh, of a sudden. What's wrong? <coughs> oh, I don't know, a smoker's cough, maybe. You don't smoke. A uh, secondhand smoker's cough, maybe. I, I don't know what's going on, but if you're going to poop out on me, I'm going to call Roberta. <coughs> oh, uh, would you get that? Uh, <coughs> probably, uh, <coughs> Sam. Will he let himself in? Anyone home? What? Oh, Jack! Hello, beautiful. <laughs> oh, my... Well, and what are you doing there? Oh, uh, well, I just thought I'd be on hand just in case anyone wants to capture any little moments for posterity. <laughs> Always nice to have a picture you know, for life's little surprises. What are you two up to? Subtle, Sue. Very subtle. <laughs> uh, I wanted to give you something special. Uh, that's why I've been working all this overtime. Oh. Oh. To an incredible mom and an even better wife. Oh, Jack. Oh, it? oh, it's beautiful. Oh. Shall we go? Okay. Oh, oh wait, wait, let me get one more. One more picture. Oh. <laughs> okay, wait. Uh, the ring. Show the ring. Show Mom, the ring. Come on, hurry up. <laughs> Don't forget your purse. Oh, okay, go. Go, 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 go. Oh. Have a great time. Oh. You look wonderful. Thank you, thank Bye. you, thank you. Thanks, sir. Bye. Have fun. <sighs> oh. Oh. Wasn't that beautiful? She did her four step and she got herself in a nice sane frame of mind. She was ready for the best, and she got it. Now, for those of us who didn't get swept off our feet recently, here's a suggestion. The next time you four-step, when you're planning your future strategies, remember to include some little bodily treat. Maybe a long, hot soak in a scented tub. So when disappointment or high-risk emotions do come up, you'll know just what kind of comfort to turn to. The human body can offer you a million pleasures. Food is just one of them. You can have a steam bath or a massage, curl up with a good book by the fire, soak up the sun, or give yourself a good loofah scrub with aromatic oils. How about steaming your face with chamomile tea? Or soaking the old tootsies. <laughs> Ooh, that feels great. Remember, you're working hard on the most important lifestyle changes you can make. So be good to your body. Be good to yourself. You deserve it. Keep up the good work. Mm. I'll see you soon. Mm. <sighs> There's a big difference between self-image and reality. I heard this guy say it the other day, I am a woman trapped in a man's body. I said, Dad, get a grip. Please, work it out. Okay, by the way, that's a lovely apron.